Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be showing how I installed this synthetic burgundy wig. So this is how the inside was looking. Um, it is a hole on the lace on a couple of spots there, but I am going to cut it off. Um, I accidentally got it when I was plucking the wig. So now I'm using this powdered foundation and I'm going in and coloring the lace. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Um, and I use some clips to hold the hair back. So now I'm taking my scissors and I went ahead, I cut three sections or three cuts in the lace. This helps so much when trying to lay it down and get it flat instead of doing the whole entire lace. Um, and then, yeah, I'm doing that and I cut the ear tabs off. I did have to cut some hair. It wasn't a lot actually, but you're going to have to cut some hair off. And I made sure that it fit over my ear. And then I did the same thing on the other side. And then I went ahead and just showed um, how much hair like came out from that one little piece that I cut off. So it wasn't that much. And yeah, so that's how that looks. It fits on my ears on both sides. So now I'm flipping the lace up and I'm going to work on one section at a time. I'm using this Ghost Bond glue. Um, this is my probably my fourth time using this. And I feel like this is way, way better than obviously got to be glue and stuff. So anyway, I'm using that. I put it and I dot it on my forehead kind of like above where the cap is. And then I'm using the um, bottom of a comb and... Just spreading it up. You can use like a popsicle stick and stuff like that, but that's all I had to use for right now. But anyways, when I put the lace on, I want to make sure that I get that hole over the glue, if that makes sense. So I am able to cut it off, if that makes sense. And then um, you want to wait for the glue to be completely clear. I didn't, but it kind of, it worked out at the end. So, and then I'm just repeating the same thing on the other sections. Also, while I was waiting for the glue to dry on that side, I went ahead and got some scissors and I cut off the lace on the middle portion. Um, I, I know you're supposed to do it like, you know, zigzag and not straight across, but I kind of did it across, but it doesn't really matter because I didn't even leave that much lace to like be noticed, I guess, if, you, if that makes sense. But yeah, I went ahead and did that and I put a little more glue on that little corner piece because it wasn't laying flat. And then I'm using a blow dryer this time. When I did the middle section, I didn't use a blow dryer and it helps a lot actually. And yeah, I'm just putting and laying that down and yeah. Also, when I was laying the wig down, I used like the back of this comb and I was like pressing it down. I didn't want to use my fingers, so I just used the comb. And yeah, so then I went ahead and cut it off. I wish next time when I do a wig like this, I definitely need to pluck more hair because on this side, it looks really like boxy and like fake. So that side and on this side as well, it just looks like I didn't pluck enough hair. So yeah, this is how it's looking. I laid the lace down and everything. And now I'm doing the middle part. Again, I should have plucked more hair because it looks fake. So, but anyways, I went ahead and detangled that side first and I'm moving on to this side. All you need really to detangle the hair is water. It doesn't really tangle that much, actually. It does have a lot of shedding though. That's one big thing about it. But the actual detangling process, it doesn't take that long. It's not that hard, which I was kind of surprised about, but it's a good thing. So there's all the hair that shedded, which wasn't that much at the moment, but it sheds a lot, by the way. Now moving on to baby hairs, um, I'm just pulling out some hair. This is what I feel like made the wig look just like 10 times better. So I'm pulling out some hair and I only pulled out hair on the front part up here. As you can kind of see, like towards the, towards my ear, I guess I didn't pull out any hair because I wasn't going to bother with that. So that's how much I pulled out. It's a good amount. And now I'm starting to cut it and I'm using my got to be glue gel and I'm just going in. I'm doing my baby hairs how I normally would with my hair and I'm just going in, I'm swooping it and you can kind of just watch me do it. And for this part, like I said, I'm trying to do my baby hairs like how I would on my normal hair. Um, so this part, I'm like pulling out some hair and I'm making like a little curl with it. This took me so long to do. Um, and I ended up switching over to the comb side. But this side, it just took me a while to do and to finally get it. I eventually kind of like moved on to another piece, but I went back to it. Thank you. 
So I went back in on that piece that I was trying to swoop and I had to cut a little more hair off and I eventually did it off camera just because it was really hard to do it on camera. I had to go into a mirror that was a little bit closer so. But now I'm going in with some foundation and this is just a powder foundation and I'm going back over the part to help it look a little bit better. So this is how the hair looked when I finished. I did comb through it a little bit more after but this is how it looks and this is the final result a couple days later. This is how the sides look and nothing lifted or anything like that since the first day I installed the wig. Also, this is how long the wig is since I never showed how long the wig was before. It's a nice waist length wig um, and this is how it looks in the front. It was a little frizzy at the bottom but using water and brushing it out helps get rid of that. But that's all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video and everything that I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content and more videos for me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!